and welcome to my channel. So as you know from all the vlogs I've been putting out, I've been traveling an awful lot lately and I've kind of mastered the carry-on bag. So I thought, as I'm traveling tomorrow, why don't I show you what I actually put in my carry-on bag? So if you wanna see what I put in my carry-on bag, then keep on watching. And before I begin guys, don't forget to subscribe. There's a little heart below and it will subscribe you to my channel. It is free. <laughs> so first things first, what I put them in. I always take my trusty handbag. I wouldn't like to put this in my suitcase and whatever you're traveling, you always need a handbag. So I take this and this is my carry on bag. It's from River Island. It's got so much room in it. <laughs> fits so much in and it's actually the right size to take on as well as a carry-on. So the first thing I'm going to dive right into is the most important part of the bag and I think that is your toiletries. So I actually pack mine in a clear case. So this bag is from MAC. Um, it actually comes as a trio so you get like three different sizes. So I use one for my carry-on, one for my brushes and one for my lip pencils as well. But this one's just for my carry-on toiletries. So I have a travel size facial wash. This one's from Amara Vixa. I have a roll-on deodorant, <laughs> just super handy, it's always needed. I have a shower gel. So if it's a long haul flight, sometimes you just kind of want to freshen up a little bit. I have a toner, which I also bring some cotton pads to kind of refresh my skin as well. And I have moisturizer. So this one is from The Body Shop. Smells amazing and just before you get off the flight it's really nice to just put like on your neck and your arms just to keep you looking fresh because if you're anything like me you get kind of like crispy elbows. <laughs> so before the plane lands, usually about an hour before, um, I kind of go to the bathroom and freshen up. So I have this toothbrush, it's like a travel toothbrush along with a travel size toothpaste and my floss. So this bag is really really important, it's got everything I need. Um, and I actually just leave it like this as well. This is all travel size items, so there's nothing I need to unpack when I get back home. So moving on to the next important part is the makeup, <laughs> of course, because we all know after a flight, we just wanna look a little bit fresh. So this is super cute. Again, it's clear, so I have no trouble going through security. So same as my toiletries bag, I haven't got to put them in the plastic bags when I go through security. I just put them in the tray and they're fine because they're clear. This bag I actually got from Boots. Uh, I think it was like a couple pounds, really handy. As we have so much to pack in our carry-on bag, I know we can't take all of our makeup items. And let's face it, makeup takes up a lot of room. So I have this really cute MAC compact. I actually built this myself. So in MAC, you can actually make up your own uh, little palette. So here I have my contour, my blusher, my eyebrow powder, some eyeshadow, another base eyeshadow, another eyeshadow, <laughs> my concealer, and a contour shade. All of this in here, and that is all I need to take because no one's really gonna be doing a full face on a plane, but it's great for like little touch up. In MAC also do these really cute travel size brushes. So I kind of just have the main ones here. So like for foundation, my eyebrows, eyeshadow, and like blusher and contour. Really cute, don't take up any room whatsoever. So the last items in my little makeup bag is a mirror. <laughs> Needed! You don't want to be hogging up the bathroom too long, so you can always do it in your seat. A little lip pencil and a gloss as well. So when you're traveling long haul, often flights will have Wi-Fi, which is brilliant, because um, I always pack my laptop. So on the flight, it means I can edit vlogs, I can edit other videos or any pictures that I want to. If for some reason my battery is dead or there's no Wi-Fi, I do have a notebook. So here I'll jot down any future videos I want to do, or I'll literally just list my goals or anything I'm trying to achieve. I think on a flight, it's really good to kind of self-reflect on things because you have so much time. <laughs> That's if you're not spending it watching movies. To be honest, I think I've watched most of the latest films by now, so I've usually seen them all anyway. I also like to pack a book. You know, it's quite nice to read if you can't sleep or if you've slept too much on the flight. On my last flight, I actually was reading this, The Magic. I have read it once before, but it was really hard to stick to the tasks. Basically, um, it's got like a, I think it's like a month of tasks, supposed to like help you 
hope you feel good. To see where my bookmark is, I'm actually on day one, which is count your blessings. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna bring this along tomorrow morning um, and see if I can get further along. <laughs> An eye mask, yes, 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 yes. You know how annoying it is on a flight and then someone puts their reading light on, but it's so bright it shines on your side. Yeah, not feeling it. So an eye mask always comes with me. Charger pack because my battery is always dying and there's nothing worse than landing in another country and you haven't put any battery on your phone. That is a nightmare. So yeah, this always comes with me. This one I actually got from Apple. It's brilliant and it actually matches my phone as well, gold, 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 gold. Because if you can't tell by now, I love everything to pretty much match. I always bring some slippers, yes, because on a flight, the shoes are off, the socks are off, and my slippers are on. You can walk around the plane in them if you need to go toilet as well. So these are really handy. If it's long haul, I also bring some comfy clothes. Oh, hold on, this is inside out, so. Mm. Gosh. I should have really done this before, right? Okay, done. This is just a baggy jumpsuit from River Island. So it's stringy and it's got bottoms attached. So it's super comfy. Often the clothes I wear to the airport, I don't really want to wear the whole duration of the flight. That can be like 10 hours sometimes. So I chuck this on and I get changed just before we land. Okay, so finally, I'm gonna show you some snacks that I put in my carry-on bag. As you guys know, the food on flight aren't great. <laughs> Often when I ask them for snacks, they say, yeah, we've got chocolate bars, or we've got this or that, sweets, Harry Bows, Pringles. Uh -uh. So if you're trying to be good, you've got to be prepared. So tomorrow I'll be taking some nuts. So these are pistachios, and you can actually reseal the bag as well, so you won't find them in the bottom of your bag. These are so good. Okay, so these are some gluten-free dark chocolate orange rice cakes. It's the whole grain rice cakes with like a layer of dark chocolate on, but they are so damn tasty. <laughs> so I definitely take these and I choose these over any cake. Also what's good to have is some fruit. So these are just some dried mango pieces. So these will be with me on my flight. Um, it's usually what I take. So like I said, I usually take some nuts take some fruit, but usually dried fruit because actual fruit will get bruised and you don't want that. And some rice cakes. Okay guys, and that's pretty much it. So as I said, I am traveling to New York tomorrow. So I will be vlogging that trip as well. So now you know exactly what I carry in my carry-on bag. If you have any questions about any of the products or items or the names of them, comment below and I'll get back to you. All right, my love, so I'll see you next time. Mwah.